Welcome back to your CISA exam prep journey. In this video, we'll walk through 15 high-yield, scenario-based questions from Domain 1, designed to sharpen your audit instincts and boost your exam confidence. Each question comes with the correct answer and a quick explanation, just like you'd face on the real exam. Let's dive in and test your knowledge. Question 36. An IS auditor is reviewing a financial application that interfaces with multiple systems. Which of the following should be of most concern to the auditor? A. The application runs batch processing overnight. B. Interfaces use point-to-point -point connections. C. The application lacks input validation on external data. D. A system administrator manually triggers file transfers. White heavy checkmark correct answer, C. Explanation, lack of input validation poses a serious risk of data corruption or breaches in systems that rely on external data. Question 37. While conducting a risk-based audit, the auditor identifies an area with high inherent risk but effective controls. What should be concluded? A. Increase the audit scope. B. Expand audit procedures. C. Residual risk is low. E. The control risk is high. White heavy checkmark correct answer, C. Explanation, effective controls reduce the residual risk even in high-risk areas. That's why the remaining or residual risk is considered low. Question 38. What is the primary purpose of performing a walkthrough during an audit? A. Evaluate compliance with policies. B. Validate system documentation. C. Gain understanding of processes. D. Identify fraudulent activities. White heavy checkmark correct answer, C. Explanation, walkthroughs help auditors understand how a process works, including the people and systems involved. Question 39. An auditor finds that backup procedures are documented but not followed. What's the next best step? A. Report to senior management. B. Test the actual backup and restore process. C. Recommend updating the documentation. D. Ignore it if no incidents occurred. White heavy checkmark correct answer, B. Explanation. Before escalating the issue, the auditor should test whether backups are functioning effectively despite the procedural gaps. Question 40. What best ensures the independence of the IS audit function? A. Reporting to the CIO. B. Reporting to the head of operations. C. Reporting to the audit committee. D. Reporting to the IT governance team. White heavy checkmark correct answer, C. Explanation, reporting to the audit committee provides independence from management influence, which is essential for objective auditing. An auditor sees failed login attempts on an inactive user account. What's the best course of action? A. Ignore it. B. Recommend deletion. C. Investigate for potential malicious activity. D. Disable the account. Correct answer, C. Explanation, this could indicate a brute force or intrusion attempt. Investigating ensures no breach has occurred. Question 42. During audit planning of a cloud-hosted system, what should be reviewed first? A. SOC 2 report. B. SLA and contract agreement. C. Firewall configuration. D. Incident response logs. Correct answer, B. Explanation, the SLA defines what access and responsibilities the organization and provider have, this must come first. Question 43. If the QA environment has direct access to production data, what should be recommended? A. Allow only senior testers. B. Encrypt the data. C. Use masked or anonymized data. D. Limit access to read-only. Correct answer, C. Explanation, production data should not be used in testing environments. Data masking protects privacy and security. Question 44. What should be done first in a risk-based audit? A. Conduct control testing. B. Assess inherent risks. 
C. Review past reports. D. Interview process owners. Correct answer, B. Explanation, inherent risks form the foundation for audit focus. Assessing them first ensures resources target high-risk areas. Question 45. A software development project lacks defined acceptance criteria. What's the greatest risk? A. Cost overruns. B. Non-compliance. C. System defects or failure. D. Project delays. Correct answer, C. Explanation, without acceptance criteria, there's no way to ensure the system meets business requirements, increasing the risk of failure. Question 46. Audit trails of a critical system are retained for only 7 days. What's the best recommendation? A. Increase retention to align with business needs. B. Archive logs offline. C. Encrypt audit logs. D. Transfer logs to a CM daily. Correct answer, A. Explanation. Seven days may fall short of legal or policy requirements. Retention must match organizational and regulatory standards. Question 47. Users are accessing systems using shared credentials. What's the most significant concern? A. Malware infection. B. Weak passwords. C. Lack of accountability. D. Large audit trail. Correct answer, C. Explanation, shared credentials prevent tracking of individual actions, undermining accountability and auditability. Question 48. What is the primary reason for follow-up activities in auditing? A. Simplify future audits. B. Meet legal obligations. C. Confirm action implementation. D. Reassign responsibilities. Correct answer, C. Explanation, follow-ups verify whether management has taken the corrective actions they agreed to after the audit. Question 49. During a post-implementation review of an ERP system, what should the auditor examine first? A. User Satisfaction Survey. B. Actual versus expected benefits. C. Access controls. D. Change management documentation. Correct answer, B. Explanation, the primary goal of post-implementation review is to measure whether the expected value or benefits were realized. Question 50. An auditor sees inconsistent timestamp formats across logs from different systems. What's the next step? A. Recommend unified timestamps. B. Disregard inconsistencies. C. Adjust findings. D. Correlate using system documentation. Correct answer, D. Explanation, use documentation to understand the discrepancies before making recommendations or drawing conclusions. Great job making it through all 15 questions. Remember, mastering the logic behind each answer is just as important as getting it right. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment your score below, and subscribe for more CISA practice. Until next time, keep learning, keep auditing, and keep pushing forward.